hello guys so in this video we are going to see how to host a node api endpoint on docker and push that docker container to docker repository so let's get started so first of all we have four prerequisites for the same the first one is you should have node installed in your machine here is a link from where you can download and install it second we should have docker installed on the machine there is a link from where you can install docker third is you should have docker hub account credentials if you don't have any docker hub account you can create it from docker hub and the last one is you should have any code editor next we have to follow some steps so i'm just elaborating it so that we can follow that steps the first one is we need to create a node project which we want to host on docker container next we need to create a docker file with some instructions next we need to log into docker hub from the console so that we can push the project and we can push the image next we need to create a docker image from that instruction file we have created then we need to run the docker image inside the container and finally we will be pushing our docker container image to the docker hub repository so let's get started so here we are inside this node docker app folder which is empty for the time being so let's create a new project in node by writing npm in it and i will be skipping all the prompts by using this y flag okay so once your project is created what you can do you can quickly create a new file index.js and what we need we need a dependency of express as well so let's install the same npm install express so let's clear this and quickly write our code over here const app is equal to require express and we use function over here and now we need to do app dot get and we just create one route and we need to use this request response arrow function semicolon and here we need to use we need to send the response dot json you can send any kind of data so i'm just taking one json object and i just give it key let's say message and the value i will take and just change this my mistake so done with this so once this endpoint is ready we need a port as well let's create a port is equal to process dot environment dot port if it is not there we can specify our own port let's keep it 8080 and finally we need to do app dot listen so here we need port number let's give it port and one callback which is console dot log and simply saying so here i will be using backtick so that i can do interpolation so app is listening on http colon local host colon uh, we need to use port here let's use port and that's all for the coding part now next we need to create a new file let's name it docker file and here we need to write some instructions so it always start from from and here we need to specify the image name so as we are working with the node so let's quickly search for node image and yeah go for this initial image and let me check for the version i have or you can check for the latest version for the node let's say node download or you can say latest version that is 18.3.0 so i just copy this and check 
for this image you can choose any image that's not issue yeah we have this so i can do what i just use that image over here so here we need to use node colon this tag next we need to use work directory that would be our app folder so let's use like this and now we need to copy the content from this directory to this app so this dot means current directory everything so we don't want to okay let me go ahead with this so once the code is copied we need to run run npm install which gonna install all the dependencies so we don't need to push this into that image so for that what i can do i can just create a dot docker ignore file and i can mention that node underscore modules is not required yep just save it come back and once it is installed we need to expose it on some port let's use any port let's use 8080 and finally we need to use command so i have already installed this docker extension that's why it is giving me suggestions so if you want you can install the same so this is recommending uh, this way and there are different ways to do so the one way is this one let me just use this way that is node and the second argument would be index.js this is one way if you don't want to use this you can also use like this cmd node in text.js you can choose any of these so you can go ahead with any of these let's save it or i just comment this and let's use this one this is the recommended way by docker hub so let's use this one although both will work so this instruction file is complete now what we need we need to do login with the docker so first of all i have uh, node hyphen v version node is already there okay and i have docker hyphen version docker is already there so docker looks like this docker desktop on windows so currently i don't have any image or container that's why it is coming empty so i have already logged in with the console let's log in so i have already logged in that's why it is saying authenticating with existing credentials login succeed in your case it would be asking for username that would be this username that you have used on this docker hub and the password okay so let's go here once it is logged in now i need to run a couple of commands let's clear this first of all i need to create a image build command is there so docker build hyphen t that is tag name and then the naming convention so i'm following the standard naming convention that is your username that's jitendra verma forward slash then your project image name so i say go for node demo and then colon like this version 0 0.0.1 .0 and finally dot r e l e a s e release this is uh, the standard way your username your image name colon then version and if it is released then you have to specify dot release although you can specify any any name but this is a standard convention and lastly you need to specify dot so that you can push all the content into this docker image from this folder let's press enter so it will take some time so i am going to fast forward this video okay so it has taken some time and you can see all these commands are used so it has taken near about 173.5 seconds so what we need to remember we need to remember this 
because we have to use this image so i just copy this okay and what next we need to do just go to this desktop of docker and you can find your image is now available under this images section so what next we need to do image is done now next we need to run one more command that is docker container ls which will show the list of containers so currently we have not created any container so that's why it is not coming so let's write the command to create the container here docker container run hyphen d this is for detached mode if i will not use it so it will stick to this terminal so i will not be able to use this terminal so it will be logging on this terminal so i don't want to attach it so that's why i'm using detach mode next is hyphen p for port so we want to run it on 3000 port that is my local port on my machine and which port you want to bind so we need to bind this port with 3000 so on my local machine it would be running on 3000 port so let's simply specify 8080 and here we need to specify that name so let's paste it so it will take some time so you can see now it is in running position so that means it should be working on this localhost 3000 so let's copy this go to the browser and check whether it is working or not okay so it is working successfully now we left with the last step that is pushing our image to this docker hub repository before that you can simply write docker container ls and you can see your docker over here here your container is working and if you want to stop it simply say docker stop and this name you can specify you can use uh, simply use c1 and it will identify this and stop it ls command again and see docker container is working or not okay so now finally we need to just use docker push and the image so image we can copy it from here otherwise you may commit some spelling mistake paste it and enter so once you push it it would be coming over here so it is pushing let's wait so now you can go back here and you can refresh it and you can see this node demo is here now anybody can use this image simply by using this docker pool and this full command so that's all for this video thank you